everybody, it's Ramona here again from RamonaRemesat.com with the Weekly Angel Card Reading. And this is going to be the reading for the week of November 16th to, I think, something like the 22nd. Anyhow, we're here at Red Rock Canyon on the outskirts of Las Vegas, Nevada. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to use the fairy cards this week. So as always, I'm going to pull three cards. Oh, this guy's going to be for Monday, Tuesday. This one wants to be for Wednesday, Thursday. Um, let's see here. One more. Come on. Let's take that one for the end of the week. My assistant can hold the extra cards. Okay. Beginning of the week. Ha ha ha. Dietary changes. Dietary change. Says, um, improve your diet and your life will also improve. So if you've been getting sort of those nudges to make some changes, maybe you're thinking you want to cut out a certain item, but you're not sure, then this is the validation that you're on the right track with that. But they always say, don't go and make huge changes. Don't decide overnight that you're going to cut out everything um, because it's just not realistic and it's just not sustainable. So start really small. You know, maybe there's something you've been thinking, maybe you want to get rid of dairy, or maybe you're thinking your system doesn't do so well with gluten. So start with those things. And then if you want to continue and add some other things, do that. But really we're saying it will improve your life. It means that when your body is clear of various substances, you can better tune in to that divine guidance. It's almost like a radio station. And when we put lots of things into our system that aren't the best for us, it's almost like trying to have a phone conversation with a lot of static. And you know, you can kind of make out what's being said, but not really. So the more you clear that channel, the better you're able to receive the guidance. So that's why the dietary changes are really, really important. It's not just for your health benefits, but a secondary benefit is that, like I said, you will be able to tune into the guidance that much clearer. So think about that specifically on Monday, Tuesday. Maybe that's the time to say, I'm gonna start at the beginning of the week and go ahead and make those changes. In the middle of the week, we have daughter. And there's that cute little fairy. She's having so much fun. She's skipping and dancing. And this really, um, you know, is a reminder that there could be an actual situation involving a daughter that is ongoing right now. So tune in to the guidance to help you sort of figure out that situation. But I, what I feel is more coming through with this is the idea of letting that inner child come out and play. Just like this little girl is having so much fun. You know, sometimes we just get too bogged down in all the to-dos that we have to do and we're always you know when I get this done and this done and this done then I will enjoy myself then I will take a vacation then I'll get back to my hobby we could continually put that off whereas if you have fun each and every day you then lift the vibration of yourself to that point where things just start to happen you know there's like this magic that takes place and all of a sudden without much effort the things you've been striving for are finally happening without you having to do a lot of that you know striving and and you know working so hard for so that's why it's important to do the things that bring you joy and not put it off um, the angels always say when we have that mentality of doing it later that's sort of a backwards mentality so really, the middle of the week, check in with yourself. It might be time to give yourself permission to go out and have a little fun, to do the things that bring you joy. And then at the end of the week, oh, we have love life. Love life. <laughs> and it says, the basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. A lot of people are like, yay, so good to finally hear that. Um, so again, if you really are looking for the perfect partner, and you're just not having much luck they're saying you know remember have you really sat down to think about what it is that you want in that person have you written it out you know take a pen and paper and write out everything you want in the ideal partner everything from you know they make me laugh and they like to dance to you know what is their background you know what are their values how were they raised what is their family like Make this very detailed list and then you can put that out there and say, please bring me this person or someone even better. And that way they know exactly what you're looking for and they can get to work on that and bring it to you that much more quickly. So don't, you know, just have this willy nilly notion of I, I really want somebody, but you have to get clear first. That's just going to really speed up the process. Okay, so think about that. 
Um, the other thing, there was something else that was coming up with this, and now I totally got off on this tangent, so I want to see if there's something else that they wanted to say with this. Um, in terms of bringing in a perfect partner, well, that's really the first step, right? It's like, again, making yourself very clear on what it is that you want, but always saying bring you this or something even better. Don't limit yourself because they can bring you something that you wouldn't, or someone, you know, even better than what you wanted. So why limit yourself, right? Keep it wide open to that. So that's it for another week. Um, there we are again, three beautiful cards in this beautiful setting. And now why don't you head over to RamonaRemisat.com forward slash blog. You can read some really fun blog posts there. Some tips, tricks, and techniques to help you connect even further with your angels and just some spiritual tools to help you in your life and your business. And then check that out and I hope I will see you all here back next week. Thanks everybody.